Hey everyone, my name is James and today we're going to be talking about the 1.3 update for Terraria for both Xbox One and PlayStation 4. Now hopefully this will actually be the last video I actually talk about this update before I say to you guys, hey, this is when the update's coming out. Because over the past two years, it's been a complete guessing game as to when this update is finally going to launch. Now, the last time we actually spoke about this was in September of 2017, when they announced that they're removing Okram and a bunch of console exclusives. And then we got a post at the end of the month going over some of the bugs and some of the issues and some of the plans to move forward. And it's been a little while since then. It's been a couple months. So Pipeworks are back. They have an updated status for us on what issues are there and how they're going to move forward. So we're going to go over that today and we're going to have a little bit of an in-depth discussion as to these issues and the plans and a possible release date. So let's just jump into it. So this post was on the Terraria forums. It's called Console 1.3, the final push. And it kind of reads like this. Greetings Terrarians. It's been a little over one month since our last statement on the status of the 1.3 console update. Much of what was echoed in the previous statement remains the same. However, we want to provide a more transparent look into exactly what is being worked on so you can have a better understanding as to why we have extended past the original estimate. So that's all I'm going to read from that. Pretty good. Uh, I like that they're keeping us in the clear. I can really appreciate that. Honestly, it's nice to be kind of kept in with all this stuff. But the main part is a little bit further down when they talk about the issues. So there are a little over 30 bugs they're working on before they plan on submitting for certification. Now, it's important to note here that it may take them quite some time to actually squash those 30 bugs. And then they actually have to go through certification, which is a lengthy process in itself. It can take anywhere between like two weeks to a month. So it honestly could be some time before we see this update. I honestly predict it to be releasing in 2018 but as i mentioned a few videos ago that actually makes me very excited because 2018 is going to be tied into a giant update for console and then a giant update for pc hopefully so we'll see what happens there how giant that pc update will be uh, depends on what we've seen and what we haven't seen but yeah they have 30 bugs and these bugs are all to do with optimization uh, localization and multiplayer it seems multiplayer is a big thing now when they actually delayed the update and they did the first delay from april 2017 as to where we are now um it was always multiplayer it began with split screen multiplayer and the first picture that we had of relogic actually playing it on their giant television they were playing in split screen and this is obviously probably where you know the problem arose of hey split screen isn't right yet so this is what they've been working on for the past couple of months and this is what they're going to work on as we go forward but it is nice to be in the loop here to know that this is really the final push, 30 bucks. Hopefully that goes pretty fast and we can get that certification out of the way. Now to go over some common questions, I usually get these after every single one of these videos. Uh, will the update come out at the same time on the same console? Actually, I should probably rephrase that. Will it come out on the same day as Xbox and PS4? Now that is actually down to Microsoft and Sony. Now Pipeworks can decide whether they want them to come out on the same day. But more than likely, it probably won't. Usually, stuff will come out on PlayStation first because they launch updates at the beginning of the week. And then I believe Microsoft launch it later in the week. Although if you believe otherwise, please correct me in the comment section down below and, you know, correct anybody else. But that's how I believe it to work. So I probably don't think that it will come out on the same day. No. And then the other question I get is, uh, what about Xbox 360, PS3, Vita, uh, DS? and Wii U. I feel like that's all of them. And mobile, of course. No, uh, this is not actually referring to that. Mobile is going to get a complete rewrite in the future. We don't know when that will be. And all the other consoles I listed there, they're unfortunately not getting the update because the hardware can no longer support it. Now, one of the questions I want to bring up is, are we getting 4K support on the Xbox One X? Because obviously, as you guys know, the Xbox One X is the first console to deliver true, in quotations, 4K gaming. And we had a 4K patch for Terraria earlier this year. I want to know, will it have enhancements for that console? Because that would actually be a reason for me to go out and purchase an Xbox One X because I currently own a PlayStation 4. So that'd be a nice little upgrade for me, but we'll have to see. And I want to reach out to Pipeworks and ask him about that. 
But that's literally it for today's Terraria news. Just a little bit more of an update. Uh, they say at the bottom that they're currently talking about a possible release date. I don't feel like that really matters because unless the bugs are squashed and the certification has been approved, I don't feel like a release date is really that important yet because there's still a big hurdle there before we get an actual date. And until that you know hurdle is overcome, the release date doesn't really matter because it could be pushed back if the certification takes quite a long time. But we'll see. Right, so that's going to do it for today's Terraria episode. I want to keep you guys informed, even though these news posts are very small and they're not always that positive. I do want to keep you up to date because I know that a lot of you are here for that. So it's honestly my pleasure to do that for you guys. Right, have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.